大家好，今天是秋季的第五个节气寒露，我特地邀请来了一位九零后的阳光少年，欢迎李艳。主持人好，我是演员李艳。李艳，对你来说，节气有什么样的意义啊？节气文明彰显了我们中华民族的思想智慧，这让我想到了一首清美的寒露诗：“新开寒露丛，远比水间红。”没想到李艳戏演得好啊，还如此有文采，把出自唐代韩愈的《慕芙蓉》都引用得如此的完美。快给大家解释一下，意思是寒露时节，慕芙蓉花盛开，比春日的花还要红。没错，韩愈说：“花长得艳丽，名字也好听，他愿意天天来看，希望秋风不要将他凋零。”我记得后面还有两句，是“艳色凝香度，佳名偶自同。”那我们就莫负秋日好时光吧。没错，不能错过这硕果累累的季节。Man, I love it out here. Just feel the sun, the autumn breeze, and the smell of the grass. I really think the best way to feel alive in the marvel of nature is to see things from a different perspective. And if you look closely, you can even see these teeny tiny droplets of morning dew that are holding so dearly onto their last breath. Now, even though the earth is、um, not yet frozen, but you can really feel the iciness of these cold droplets on the solar term cold dew. And if you look around, most of the birds have already migrated to the warmer climates. Look at what I found here. Pomegranate. Amazing. The mother earth produces all sorts of fruits all year round, but as the temperature drops on cold dew, our pores close up, and our bodies need to react the same way to preserve the qi or the vital energy. So we have the pomegranate, a sweet fruit that is slightly sour to give us that astringent effect. It's also a fruit that is warm in nature, so really the perfect food to counter the external dropping temperature. Let me tell you, a few sips of this mouth-watering elixir will bring a smile on your face like nothing else on this chilly cold dew. That is the taste of harmony.